I have always said I'll never be shocked at what the church would do or a position the church would take. This one shocked me. November the 5th, the church made some changes to its handbook in relation to same-sex marriage and its policy towards the children of same-sex marriage partners. Could you explain why that was necessary? No child has the ability to navigate being unwelcome and to say at such an official level that they cannot be a part of that group is so damaging. These are people who would not otherwise be against marriage equality and against the LGBT community, but for their religion. Prop 8 and the, and the Prop 102 issue, the, the marriage equality politics of that, did bring questions about the way the church dealt with blacks in the priesthood to the forefront. What is the church explanation for the exclusion of blacks from the priesthood? Uh, I don't see how they recover from this or how they change quickly. It's going to take at least a generation. I support them in their activity in church with scouting and everything. I, I was in scouts for as a leader for nine years with my sons, uh, but when I was gay I was immediately banned from that experience. If the chapel members start complaining about things, which they are with this policy, that starts having a little more of an impact. If people start refusing to play BYU in sports. If people stop attending BYU, I think in this day is what will have the most impact.